Jorge Masvidal details the altercation he had with Kamaru Usman and the words that were said that sparked the confrontation. Well, I just told him, I go, man, you've been talking a lot of sh saying this and that. I'm, I'm going to straight up say it to your face. You're not there for nobody, nobody else. He goes, what's that? I go, I'm going to f you up. You know, I'm just letting you know, man. Bear you from start to finish so you don't hear see, she say, she say stuff. No, I'm letting you know right to your face. I'm going to f you up the same way that I've let a lot of my opponents before. You know, I like to do it more in private if it could just be me and them and look them right in their soul and tell them I'm going to f you up. But, you know, I didn't get that chance with this dude. It just, I, I don't like this man, you know. If I could have altercations with him every day, I wouldn't mind. Uh, did anyone touch the other? Were there any punches, uh, pushes? He's not stupid, man. He, he plays tough guy on, on uh, TV, but he's not stupid. What, what is that guy going to do in, in a scenario like that? Hug my legs? Come on, man. You know he can't punch through a f***ing wet paperback. So what what is he going to do in, in a scenario like that? Nothing but look down and have to take a seat. You know, he's a punk. He, he did a lot of screaming and stuff. And shouting, but that, that I just wanted to tell him one thing, like man, I'm just gonna f you up. You don't gotta, you don't gotta take that person. It's just what's gonna happen, man. You know, just relax. You don't gotta be loud about it or nothing. But I said it very calmly and, and right to his face. I'm, I'm gonna f you up. You know, there was no need for him to overreact like that. You know, he's just sensitive, man. Cause he doesn't like the truth. Yeah, he said a lot of mumbo rapping. I don't know what he said, but he said, do something. You come up talking, do something. Do something. Just something about this and that and that and that. To care less. I just wanted to let them know my message. I'm gonna f you up, and then, and I don't want you to just hear me say it on TV, and then oh, you could deny or confirm the conviction. No, I'm gonna say it to your face so you see how much conviction I have behind it. Stephen A. Smith further elaborates on his initial reaction to Joe Rogan claiming that he was a bad look for ESPN and the sport of MMA. I was there to talk about that fight, and I know what I'm watching, and so for me to look at Conor McGregor to see three shoulder shrugs to the nose of Cowboy Cerrone. Obviously, he broke his nose, beat up his face pretty well and what have you. Uh, Joe Rogan was of the mindset that Conor McGregor showed a lot. I respectfully disagree. Number one, I don't believe there's so much you can show in 40 seconds in most instances. I watched the fight and I'm like, my God, all you got off was one, was one kick which was blocked by Conor McGregor, and that's it? That's not going to cut it against Nomega Medal. That's not going to cut it against Masvidal. My mentality is that when you're a champion, or you're somebody that aspires to be the champion, whoever the measuring stick is at that particular moment in time is someone I'm fantasizing about you going up against. And so to me, what we saw from Conor McGregor that night showed us nothing about what he would potentially do in a rematch against Nomega Medoff. So to say something like that, to me, it's not sacrilegious. It's not a crime against the sport or anything like that. As an observer and a reporter on pugilistic sports, this is what I saw at UFC 246. If you, can dis if you want to disagree with me, you're the great Joe Rogan. I respect that. I'm honored that you took into account my opinion with what he's done for the sport. But to take it to the point where it wasn't a good look for me to be there, it wasn't a good look for ESPN to be there, I thought that was beyond the pale, and I thought that was excessive and unnecessary. Surprisingly, Nate Diaz comes to back up Stephen A, but telling Conor and Rogan to get off each other's nuts and apologize to Stephen. He said it how it was, the fight was over before it started. 